Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Daisy. How was your day? A little bit busy. Busy? Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit. What do you do, Daisy? Mm, I do many things. For example, uh, I work at a school bank. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Daisy, you what? I work at a school bank. Mm -hmm. And I am in the, in the, in the area of samples. Ah, okay. We may close. And how long have you worked there? I worked from, from seven to five. Seven to five, okay. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, hey Raul, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Norma, how are you? Hi. Hi. Are you ready for today's class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Raul, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Then today we are going to begin with the idea of the class is first we're going to have a little bit of review from yesterday okay, okay. so yesterday do you remember the topic uh, simple pass and pass continuous. Continuous. very good do you remember the difference between the simple past and the past continuous Simple past interrupts the past continuous. Correct. The first activity is the past continuous. The second yeah. activity, the interrupt, yeah. is the simple past. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So the first we're going to do is, now that we remember a little bit, we're going to review to see if you understand when is the past continuous and when is the simple past. Okay? okay? Okay. So first, let's take a look. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, Raul? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's start first with, who would like to start first? Norma, would you like to read the first one and make the decision? Is it past simple or past continuous? Past simple. Yes. Correct. Very good. Okay. Daisy? The second is past continuous. Past continuous. Very good. Raul? It is simple pass. Okay, let's see the simple. Nice, nice. It's good that we understand that way. We review. Mm -hmm. Norma, is you again? Pass simple. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Daisy? Sorry, what? Number, number Num five. Correct, number five. It's past continuous. 
Mm -hmm. Good. And Raul. Fast, simple. Okay. Very good. We don't need to practice all of them. There are many of them. There are 16 exercises, but the important is that we can identify easily. The past simple is normally have did in the question or the regular verb ed or the verb in the past tense. The past continuous always, always have an ing in the verb and the verb to be that is was or were. Okay. So this is the idea for the past simple and the past continuous. Remember, the past continuous is the first action. So when we say past continuous is normally the first activity that begins, the simple past is the one that interrupts the activity, is the second activity, the one that interrupts the act. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, Raul, for yes. you? It's okay? Yes, it's okay. All right, perfect. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm a little surprised because today we only have three students. I don't know what happened to the others. <laughs> Let me see. Maybe we get a few more into the group. Yes, a little bit, uh, a little bit later they're coming today. Hang on. Ah, here we have. We have Jose. Now we have David and Anna. Hi. Hello, hello. Okay. Hello. Perfect. Hello. Okay. We were just practicing the past simple and the past continuous. Uh, it's okay for you, or do you have any questions between the past simple and the past continuous? Mm. Uh, repeat, please. Yeah, mm -hmm. Do you have any questions between the past simple and the past continuous? If I understood, mm, I don't have any questions. Okay. What is the I question? Don't, I don't have questions. No? No. No. Okay. All right, good. Don't forget to always continue with the, the activities in the platform, which are important, that you need to do the knowledge check for the past simple and the past continuous. This is the 2.2. Okay. In this one. Yes, is it? Okay. Now, in this moment, we are going to have, let's see, three. We're going to create little rooms and we're going to practice the speaking. Yesterday, we began the speaking for the different activities that the people do. Okay. Do you remember about the accidents? Yes. Yes. Okay, today I sent in the WhatsApp the, the link that you can see the uh, also yesterday, but is the same idea for the discussion today. We're going to continue. That way we can practice our speaking in the simple past or the past continuous. If you can have in the, in the WhatsApp group there, and I'm going to also send in, I think it's better when I don't put videos or things. So I'm going to put also in the chat in case you need in the chat. That way you can click on the link. Okay. So one more time, we're going to practice in our groups. Are you ready? Okay. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Uh, are you accident prone? Uh, I think I'm not, I'm not an accident prone. Okay. Because I haven't, thanks God, I haven't an accident for a long time ago. So. Sorry, I, Raul, sorry, Raul and Jose. I just want to make sure that for you, is clear the past simple and past continuous, or do you have any questions? No, no, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, continue practicing, and then I check with the other groups. Okay. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I never had a... Um... In the mm -hmm. yesterday, in the uh, yesterday, you talk you about me. your accident. Okay. I remember you have a uh, bigger accident. Sorry, Norma and Anna. I, I just want to make sure that it's okay for you, the simple past and past continuous, or do you have any questions? About yeah. This? Excuse me. About the physical, is the, the accident feature or is other activity? Or the other activity, no problem. If you have a question, you ask me. Okay. Norma, any, any questions? Ed or Anna, any questions? Mm, no. It's okay? Okay. Okay, then continue practice speaking and I check with the other groups. Okay. 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 Um Hmm. Hmm. David, you okay? You are alone? Yes. I don't know, but... I, 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 I don't know what happened with your partner, the Gerardo. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. But only... Okay. I... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Do you have any questions, though, David, about the past continuous or simple past? Yeah, no, for the moment. It's, it's clear. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Then we go back to the, to the rooms, to, to the... Okay. To the main message. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Gerardo, you okay? Can you hear me, Gerardo? Did you leave? I think, huh? Okay. Well, we tried maybe Gerardo only put the link, but not is not present. Went to the bathroom or something. 
Okay. Okay. Well, today is the idea, the topic for today is we're going to be looking at adverbs. Do you know what are adverbs? Does anybody know what are adverbs? Teacher, you are mute. Okay. I there we go. Okay. I see some people have problems with the connection, but okay. Do does anybody know what is adverbs? There are uh, many kind of adverbs. Right? I remember that there is a frequency, for example, always, usually. Correct, Jose, correct. There are different types of adverbs. Very good. We have adverbs of time and adverbs of frequency and different types. Very good. Today's objective is the idea of what are adverbs, okay? And the idea is in lesson 2.3, the idea was learn about useful adverbs for telling stories. The idea of adverb is answer the question, how do you do something, okay? So when you can answer how or when, this becomes an adverb. If you think about, I walk to school, I walk to work, this is the action, I walk. But how do you walk? Ah, I walk slowly, I walk quickly, I, I walk every day. Those are the adverbs. It's okay, the idea of adverbs? Yes. Hmm. Maybe it, can everybody hear me or is having difficulty listening to me? Uh, we have a you know, uh, connection problems again. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Then Maybe when I, I'll just send the link in the chat that way we can have the idea. So we have one more time. The idea of the adverbs is for describing how you do the action or when you do the action. Okay, and always we have a specific place that we put the adverbs. In this moment, in the chat, I send you the link for you to understand the adverbs. Everybody received the link? Yes. Yes. Yes? Okay. This is important because here you can see that we have normally the position of the adverb. You, we never put an adverb between the verb and the object, okay? So we can put before or we can put after, but not in between, okay? So we have some adverbs that are at the beginning, like the word unfortunately, okay? We have some adverbs that are in the middle of the sentence, but before the verb. The children often ride their bicycles. And we have some at the end, like the time, like every day or every afternoon. You can look at the examples of the instructions for the adverb from the link, and we are going to try to practice. So here we have specific adverbs that I'm going to send now. The first one was the instructions of the adverb. Here are the exercises that we're going to do. Okay. Can you see the exercises? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, perfect. So what is the first sentence? 
we fortunately the, the first sentence says our friend must write a, a test do you see that exercise yes i'm sorry what was the question Do you have a question? No. You are watching that in the first link. Hmm. I have problems listening to you, Daisy. Are you in the first link? Okay. Or in the second? Okay. So Let's, let's take a look at the word. The, the adverb was a, was the, the adverb from number one. The word was also. What would be the correct sentence? I think in, the second, in the second line. In the third one. In the, in the in the in the first one, what would be the correct answer? Also, all friends must write a test. Okay. Anybody else? No. The correct answer would be. Our friends must also write a test. Our friends must also. If you look at the ideas is, remember, normally we have the adverbs before the verb. The verb okay. here, here the verb is write. Okay. Okay. So normally the idea is before we do those things in the, in the example for the instructions, we see that we have three positions, which is what we're going to look at. Did everybody watch the video for the 2.4 on how to use the vocabulary of the adverbs? I watched the video. I didn't see the video. This, I didn't see it. Okay, okay, okay. In this moment, take a moment and in the platform, watch the video 2.4. It's better that you watch than uh, instead of me projecting because when I project, we see that we have a problem. Okay. So, I can everybody watch the video or is not possible? Daisy, did you watch the video? Or Raul? Yes, yes I, I, I have seen just now. Okay. And cool. The rule is uh, first there is the subject mm -hmm. and plus adverb and plus verb and the complement. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. Hey, Anna. Okay. okay. 
Excuse me. No problem. Okay. So okay. We, un we understand that we have a couple exercises and with our partners, what we want to do is we want to try to see if we can make the adverb in the correct place. Okay. This is the link in the chat. Okay. This is the link in the chat for practicing the sentences. Our friends must write a test. For this one, we are going to be in groups of three. Okay. We're going to be in groups of three. Okay. And I'm going to give each one. Connection I'm going, very yeah. I can't hear the internet. I can't hear. Uh, mm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's see if I can fix that. Let me see. We try to help with the volume. We're going to. You still have problems with the volume? I think some of you still have some problems. Okay. Let's try to make it like this. Anna, David, Norma, you are not in the in the room. The uh, old friend must also write a test. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, gentlemen, you are going to do numbers 8, 9, and 10 and share your answers with the class. Numbers 8, 9, and 10. 8, 9, and 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I give you a moment and then we check. Okay. Okay, good. It could be that the eight John almost fell off the bike. Okay. Uh, continues. Okay, ladies, are you ready to give your answers? Yes. <laughs> yes, you're going, you're going to share. Just, just, just. Yo, the four, first, the first four. The first four. In the one. Our friends must write a test. Okay. Uh, I give you a minute to. Okay. Teacher, in this case, uh, the question mm -hmm. is the same. Did you both enjoy the flight? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I give you a moment and then we check with the groups, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. I think, uh, what is the activity in this moment? I can listen to the question. Are you ready with your answers? No, teacher, because <laughs> I don't. I, excuse me, I I don't listen the instruction. Ah, okay. So, with your partners, you are going to answer three. It's in the chat. I think I sent to you. It's the is that you are going to answer the three questions. Oh. Okay. okay. I I think your group is numbers. Five, six, and seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with your partners, you discuss, and I, in a moment, we're going to check numbers five, six, and seven. Okay, Norma, do you have a, a question? Yes, what is the question? No, I, I need to question but I don't see yeah. hmm. ask ask me a question please I don't see you in this moment to add mm. Okay, are we ready to check the answers Num for the group that has numbers two, three, and four? No? The group is not ready. Okay, then I send the answers. 
for everybody to see. Numbers two, three, and four, those were the answers. I was joking. I was only joking. Did you enjoy the flight? Did you both enjoy the flight? And the correct for number four is Mary watches TV. Mary hardly ever watches TV is the correct form. Okay. Okay. What about the next group? The next group, are you prepared for numbers five, six, and seven? Uh, me teacher, okay. the five, six, and seven. Number five is he carefully drives his, his car. And six is the children play football in the garden. And, in, and seven is we went to the cinema yesterday. Okay, okay, pretty good. A little mistake, but here are the correct answers. Numbers five, six, and seven. He drives his car is he drives his car carefully, but is also correct, he carefully drives his car. We have two answers that are correct. Carefully at the end or carefully before the verb. Okay, okay. Okay, the same in number six, you see the children play football in the garden because the location is, is not correct in a different place, only at the end. And, and numbers. And number seven is, we went to the cinema yesterday, or yesterday we went to the cinema. That's correct, two ways, right? The two forms are correct, yes. Okay. okay. What a, and okay, the last group numbers eight, nine, and ten. Well, and the eight is go ahead, bro. <laughs> okay, and number eight the answer is John almost fell uh, off the bike. Uh, number nine. Her, boy, her boyfriend uh, will probably buy her some flowers. And the last one, Jose. My uncle is definitely moving to Stockholm soon. Very good. And you can see in the chat, I sent the answers that you were correct. John almost fell off the bike. Her boyfriend will probably buy her some flowers. And my uncle is definitely moving to Stockholm soon. Okay, so in this moment, we have been practicing a little bit about the adverbs. What is the function of the adverbs? Can someone tell me why we use adverbs? Yeah, if, go ahead, it's okay to try. Do you know why we use adverbs? Tell me. Repeat the question, teacher, please. Why do we use adverbs? What is the function of adverbs? And the, I think I think the adverb modify the verb. You are correct. You are correct. This is the function. The principal function is modify the verb. Explain the verb, how, when, or where. Okay, this is the, the main idea, how or when, really. So when we say, I, I eat pizza, okay? Ah, I quickly eat pizza. It gives you how for the verb. In this moment, any questions for the adverbs? It's, it's okay for everyone. You can show, you can use the reactions. In the reactions, you can, for example, if you understand, you put like that, the finger. <laughs> and then I understand that for you is clear. Okay, I, I have a, a question. And the number yes. two, 
the number two okay. and um, has uh, two verbs in the adverb mm -hmm. uh, is put in in the middle uh, wash and joking mm -hmm. um is is ever in the all case ah uh, okay uh, it's because it's before the main verb but after the auxiliary oh okay, mm -hmm. okay. so the same before the verb but is after auxiliaries and um, is was were okay uh, the verb is joking the Correct. principal the verb, verb is joking okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Good question. It's better to be clear that you understand why in the two verbs, why. Mm -hmm. Anybody else okay. have a question? No. No? I no. one. Yes. Uh, did you have a list of rules? To, in order to apply it, uh, the others? Yes, is the first link that I give you is the, the in today at 9.18, you see the link with uh, www.english with ch. There it gives you the adverb positions. It tells you where to put the adverb. That is the rule. Well, really rules, because there are three main rules on when to put the adverbs. In general, uh, Raul, so we understand it for everyone. In general, the adverb is after an auxiliary and before the main verb. Okay. So as an example, Raul, I always come to class. I usually study English. I never, I never eat pupusas with a, with a fork. Okay. And, and what about exceptions? Ah, always in English is, oof, is common. Is common exceptions. And the common exceptions are words like um, sometimes, because sometimes can be at the beginning of the sentence, or at the end, sometimes I listen uh, to music. For, for instance, uh, for instance, number five. Okay. Uh, the sentence number five, carefully, is is the adverb. Uh, in this sentence, uh, uh, you put the the adverb at the end of the sentence. The this two is, uh, the two forms before the main verb or at the end with carefully. Okay. So it's also correct, Raul, to say he carefully drives his car. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, could you forward the link uh, about the, the, the list of the adverb by category? I think here, I you should have one moment it's already but i copy and i send again because i put into the chat is this one okay thank you you're welcome you're welcome but i can send more information if you want uh, more examples or more specific i can send more like like today i send in the morning i send you more practice and also more information so it's clear for you yes please okay okay in in this moment any questions with adverbs no no, no every everybody's okay yes mm, so so <laughs> so so please please uh, do you have a question or do you want me to send some specific information 
No, teacher, because I need a practice or I can see uh, the platform for for that give, uh, give a question to you. Okay, I in the chat group tomorrow I send link for more practice. It's no problem. Okay, teacher, thanks. Of course, of course, the is if sometimes it's necessary more practice, sometimes less. But the important is you understand. This is the important. Okay, okay thanks. Of course. Okay. Now, if if we are okay with the adverbs, we continue to the next topic. It's okay we continue to the next topic? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay. The next topic that we have is objective 2.5. I don't put the videos because you know what happens when I put the videos. It's terrible, terrible. So it's better mm. that when you have a moment, when you have the moment, you watch the video. If you want, you take your time and the video help you to do the exercises. I only explain the video, but not show the video because it's very bad, the connection then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Now, what video, uh, teacher? Ah, the video is number two point four. Two point four. Okay. Yes. Yes. Two point four is the idea of today's adverbs, and the yes. video two point one, yes. and the the video two point one is yesterday's class for past continuous okay. and simple past. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, today's next topic is the idea of the present perfect continuous. This it sounds complicated, but it's not so complicated. The idea is only the activity begin the past and continue to this moment. This is the idea. Okay. So, when we say present perfect continuous, what we mean is start in the past and continue to the present. Here we have a few examples. Can you see my screen? No. 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 Example? No. 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 Okay. 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 All right. I, I know exactly what we're going to do because I have the solution. I think it's easier when I send to you in the chat because then you can open the screen and you can see exactly what I explained. Okay. When we talk about the present perfect is we talk about like a, like a little line of time. Okay. And here is the past. And here is the present. And the idea is all of this continue to do the activity. This is the present perfect continuous because start in the past and continue to now. As an example, we have, a, let's see, Gerardo, do you, do you work? No, hello, teacher. I, yes, Gerardo, do you work? Yes, I, I work. <laughs> okay. And this is the idea for Gerardo. Imagine Gerardo have two years or three years. So we say Gerardo has yes. been working for two years. Like the, the audio is so bad, teacher. I don't. Okay. I repeat. No problem. No problem. This, let me see. We try. Okay. Can you hear me now, Gerardo? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. So we say Gerardo has been working for two years. This means begin two years in the past and continue today. We can also say Gerardo has been working since 2018. The, is the same idea. We use Gerardo as the example, but we can have anybody that do the activity in the past and continue to now. In the link that I sent in the chat, you can see that we use have, have, been, and the verb ing. 
Can you see? Teacher. Yeah, I hear the I hear the audio. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, the other, uh, other example is possible. Uh, I have been working the same place. Yes, it's possible. I have been. Yes, yes. I, yes. I In, have been working the same place. Correct. Okay. Here, in this moment, in the chat, I put the example so that you can see the present perfect examples. One moment. Okay. Now, if we look at the examples that I sent, it says they have been talking for the last hour. This indicate begin talking one hour in the past and continue to now. Mm -hmm. Then example number two, she has been working at the company for three years. Begin three years in the past and continue to now. Is so so the idea? Yes, so so. Yes. Uh, the, the action is start in the past, but don't finish in the, in the present. Correct. No, incorrect. The action start in the past and continue okay. to the present. Okay. So, okay. here, and so that you can have the idea. Yes. The structure is how, use a how or has and been. And the correct. Answer, uh, that is correct. Always has or have and okay. the verb been. And the very I use E and G. Correct only is I and G. Okay. Okay. <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. Anybody have any questions in this moment? We are going to practice the present perfect more on Monday because tomorrow in the class on Monday we're going to practice more. But tomorrow in the WhatsApp group, I am going to send you exercises for you to practice so that it's clear how we use it. But the important is in this moment, you understand the function. Daisy, Jose, Raul, do you understand the function? Yes, I understand. Yeah. Um, to be honest, teacher, I can't hear you well. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So is, there, is your connection or my connection? I yes, Daisy, I don't hear you too well. Mm, let me see with another person. Anna, can you speak? Let, that way I can check if it's my connection or Daisy's. We have been talking for the last whole version perfect some we use version perfect to some start in the bus as well. But then up to the now. Okay. This is the idea. If if we have an activity that we don't know when it began or we don't have a specific time, we can use the present perfect. If we know the activity continues to now, we use the present perfect continuous. Is, can you hear me or no? Is, is bad my connection? I can't hear you, but no well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bad connection. Yes, I see, Daisy, that your, with your connection is very bad, me and you, but I don't know the same for the others. What? Okay. Is, can, okay. Daisy, you hear me? No. Not too much. Okay, not too much. No. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I, I send in the in the WhatsApp group. I send uh, information for more explanation and information for more practice in the present perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then have a have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
I don't know, Norma, did you have a question? Anna, did you have a question? Um, no, teacher. I I no. try the the exercise tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good. I Good. practice. I need practice. Yes. Okay, Norma, you try, and if you have questions on Monday, I answer. Okay. Thank you, sir. So. I'm sorry, what am I? Hello? It's, it's okay? No. It's okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, then have a good night and see you on Monday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.